What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be going over why I think the M1 MacBook Pro is the best laptop for the money in 2023. With that being said, I wanted to make this video because I know just like myself, there's people out there that are going to research for a new MacBook Pro and they think obviously the latest and greatest is a hundred times better than the previous generation, but that's just not the case with these MacBook Pros, right? There's very, very little difference in performance and they look exactly the same. So first things first, I've been using this laptop for over a year now and it's been absolutely amazing. Anything from editing videos to looking at emails, watching videos, documenting stuff, it handles it like a champ. It's a super strong laptop and I have yet to find an issue with it. With being a content creator, there's been times where I've used old systems and it just has been super laggy and has slowed my workflow down incredibly. With this machine, it's been nothing but powerful. Even with being a 16 inch laptop, it is pretty big, I can't lie but compared to other competition out there for the amount of power that this puts out, it's absolutely amazing. Another reason this laptop has been absolutely amazing for me is because of all the ports that it has, right? So we have the MagSafe charging port, two USB-C ports on the left side and the aux port. On the right side, it has an HDMI port if you wanna connect it to a monitor or a TV or whatever you want to use to display your image onto. A SD card slot, which is absolutely incredible because being a content creator, I'm always unloading footage and photos. So that is super clutch not to have a dongle. Another USB-C for hard drives charging, whatever the case may be. It's super clutch. And I think for the form factor, it has quite a bit of ports. And you know how Apple can be sometimes pretty stingy on the ports, but I think they uh, they did a pretty good job with this right here. With using it for a year, I think physically this laptop has held up so well. There's barely any scuffs or marks on this thing. It's made out of all metal. It's super durable. I'm never afraid of breaking it just holding it in my hands. There's some laptops that are made of plastic and you're like, oh, it's super flimsy. And if I drop it, it's completely done. This laptop, if I dropped it, I'd be pretty, uh, you know, I'd be pretty hurt, but I'm pretty sure it will stand the fall. Don't test it, obviously. I would not, would not recommend throwing your laptop. But um, realistically, if it did have a fall, unfortunate fall, you know, I think it would hold up. So like most other laptops, you're gonna have fingerprint marks on the keyboard and maybe sometimes on the screen if you accidentally touch that. Obviously those are gonna be things that are kind of human error. Now the speakers, right? I know this is a laptop. Most people are gonna have dedicated speakers if they're gonna be at home. And most of the time, if you're out and about, you're gonna be using headphones. So the speakers aren't too important for most people for laptops, but the speakers on here are absolutely insane for a laptop. I've had multiple times where I'm playing music through the speakers, I'm just listening to a video through the speakers and people are like, is that the laptop? I have promise you, I promise you, I'm not lying. I'm not lying right now. It's happened multiple times. You have to see it for yourself. These speakers are actually pretty, pretty solid. I mean, they have a good kick. The clarity of it is very good, has some bass, really can't beat it. I will say with it having a complete metal construction that it's a super solid computer, but it can get a little heavy sometimes. That's a trade-off, right? They made it a little thicker so we can have a better engine inside of it and all of these USB-C and HDMI and SD card ports. So I think the trade-off is well worth it, not having to carry around 30 different dongles. Another one of my favorite parts of this laptop is the display. With 1600 nits of brightness, you cannot go wrong. Super crispy, it's absolutely amazing. Realistically, there's not many displays that can beat this thing unless you're spending over $800 just for a monitor or OLED you know, TV or whatever the case may be. There's not many things that would beat this in your day-to-day -day use. So this would be the best thing you look at every day. I'm gonna be honest. For me, it is personally, my phone doesn't compete and most of the monitors that are at my job or just in regular public are not gonna compete with this. So you're not gonna be mad with the display. The color correctness of this is absolutely amazing. I do a lot of color grading for all the content that I make and it's 10 out of 10, honestly. Straight out of factory, you're not gonna have to do a color adjustment or anything like that. It works super, super well. I know a lot of people talk about the notch on top. It's super unnoticeable, especially with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, you're not gonna really notice it. At least I didn't personally. If that's something that really, really bothers you that much, then there's different routes you could go, I guess but I would not let that deter you from having a great computer 
and a great experience in general. Another thing for me, especially going out into public and working environments and having to work while other people are shooting and filming their videos as well, is how quiet this computer is. I cannot even explain how quiet it is. There's literally barely any noise, even at full power. When I'm rendering something, it might get a little bit warm. As far as the actual fans and the internal noise that it makes compared to other MacBook Pros and other Intel computers, it's kind of, insane. When I was searching for a laptop, I was trying to find something that would substitute having a desktop at home. I wanted something that was portable, but also had enough power to actually do work that wasn't just, you know, editing photos and, and just small stuff like that, small daily tasks. I need something that could do absolutely everything. And that's where I came across this machine. Apple Silicon is absolutely insane. I don't know what they're doing at Apple, but it's insane how much power they can get out of a little laptop. I have rendered 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minute videos, and it handles it like a champ. Like I said, might get a little bit warm, but I still don't hear anything. Replacing your desktop with this is easily a yes and easily can be done. So with that being said, despite the crazy price of this laptop, right now is probably the best bang for your buck and why I believe this is why you should get this laptop in 2023 because the price reductions are absolutely insane. You can get this laptop right now for a super discounted price because of the new M2 MacBook Pro that they just released. So this laptop just seems like such a no brainer to me. If you do your research, this is not gonna go into specs about both of them, but do your research, it's not that different. They are literally super similar, the same amount of ports, the same body, the internals are a little bit different, but the laptop is already insane. So unless you're doing movie quality stuff and you absolutely need the highest performance laptop, the newest of the new, then I think this is the laptop for you. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Is this the best bank for the buck in 2023 or am I just a little delusional? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.